Good morning, friends, and welcome back to Elfin Around, where we always have an elfin good time. So today I am going to show you how to make a sleeping bag and a pillow for your elf. And this is from a $1.25 product that you can find at Dollar Tree. It is just a placemat. So you can get this almost anywhere, Walmart, Target, you can get a placemat anywhere, but I found these really pretty holiday themed ones. So I picked one up and we're gonna be able to make the sleeping bag and the pillow just from one. So you're just gonna cut this once at 12 inches to make a 12 by 12 square. And then you're gonna glue the part that you just cut with hot glue and fold it over. You can sew this, but I'm trying to make this easier for people. I understand that a lot of people don't know how to sew, so I'm going to go ahead and try to show you how to do things that are a little easier when we can. So once you have that glued, you're now gonna fold that over with the glue side on the bottom. And you're just gonna fold over that little flap. That's gonna be the part that is going to fold over when the elf is inside of it. I just used some straight pins to hold that fold in place so I knew where I had to glue. But you go ahead and glue that bottom portion together. And it's important that you just press kind of hard after you glue it so it kind of seeps through to the fabric. That's what's gonna really hold it into place. And then I just used one more straight pin to mark where that fold ended so I knew I didn't glue past that. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Like I said, you can use this method with any type of um, fabric placemat. It does not have to be holiday themed. If you can't find it, it's not a big deal. So we're gonna use that little scrap piece that we cut off and we're gonna make a pillow. You could probably make two pillows out of this, maybe even three, if you wanted to go ahead and sew together the end piece. But we're just gonna cut a five inch piece of fabric from the corner, so that makes for less sewing, and then cut it at four inches, so a four inch by five inch piece. You're gonna turn that inside out, and now you're gonna glue the length of it together. So because it's from a corner, there already has two pieces that are stitched to edges, so you just have to do two more. But you're going to leave half of the last edge open so that you can turn it right side out and also stuff it. So glue one complete edge and then a half of the other edge. Make sure you poke those little corners out when you fold it right side out, and that's what it looks like. Now we're going to stuff it. So if you are with me with my Grinchmas skirt video, I had made that from a pillow I got from Dollar Tree. So this is the stuffing that I reserved from that. If you do not have that, then please go ahead and just use whatever stuffing you have. Um, Kohl's usually has their pillows on sale for $3.99 every year around this time. It's the first week of November. So, you know, that's not a bad deal for a bunch of stuffing if you're planning on crafting a lot. And I just checked it for size and for fluffiness. And I'm just using a straight pin to turn that edge inside while I glue the other edge. So you can see that the hunter green color, it's a thinner fabric, so it's fraying a little bit more, but that's, that's okay, it's not a big deal. Like I said, we're hot gluing it, so it's not gonna be a problem. And you're just gluing about a quarter of an inch in on itself, and then you're gluing those seams together. And that's all there is to it. For less than $1.25, we made this pillow and the sleeping bag. <clears throat> and I see that they sell these a lot on Amazon and Etsy, and I even bought one myself a couple of years ago. And when I saw this, I thought it would be perfect. So hopefully you guys are able to utilize this and not pay a ton of money for a sleeping bag for your elf. If you like this, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for all the fun we have.